Oh, I think they're going in straight from this one. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so I see versus Sheik. I think maybe if you catch Bendit, you know you're going to be playing up against the Sheik that Link wouldn't have been the best choice. Um, so we have, yeah, I see Sheik here. A matchup that a lot of people have different opinions on, but. Catch Bandit said that she didn't uh, pick Link on purpose. He just stayed from her previous game and she didn't want to select him. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. So she's definitely playing ICs now. Yeah, for sure. And this is a matchup that I think, you know, in the past everyone said, oh my god, this is so broken for Ice Climbers. You just grab Sheik and then you wobble her and it's over. Or even if you don't have wobbling, you can just chain grab her with Sopo. Um, but I think as the Sheik's getting better at it, it's generally becoming like people starting to think maybe it's actually Sheik favored. Um, or, you know, at the very least even. Um, you can use your needles, you can use your big hitboxes, and you can abuse the platforms to make sure you're kind of outside of the, the danger zone from the Ice Climbers. So. Yeah, I don't think there are a lot of Ice's players in the Netherlands that didn't be would regularly face. No. So I it's mean, also a matter of knowing the matchup. I would assume that Clash Bandit knows how to play against Sheik, but mm -hmm. does the newbie know how to play against Ice Seas is a whole other question. Yeah, so. I would say, kind of in 2021, in the in the era of Slippy, uh, you kind of have no excuses for not knowing a matchup. Um, you know, I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine. But you know, you have the resource available to you to uh, to play online now. Um, right. But also touching on what you're saying about the Netherlands, oh, unfortunate uh, grab release there causes uh, causes Danu to die. But um, historically, the Netherlands have always been pants against Ice Climbers. That's always been the you know, the way it is. Maybe not so much in the last sort of few years, but I remember even when I was starting out, everyone said that, oh yeah. Oh, we're playing Cruise, just sending the Ice Climbers, the Dutchies can't deal with it. I vaguely remember being told that they were one of the first to uh, ban wobbling in yeah. 2013, before unbanning right. it and then banning it again, and yeah. again being one of the first to ban it in 2018 yeah. or 19. Oh, nice handoff here from Catch Bendit. And the F smash here. Oh, another hand off. Oh my Please. god! Wow, okay. Okay, she really went in for some swag there. So that is a very tricky technique to perform if you don't know. So you have what you have to do is you have to throw with Popo and you have to grab with Nana exactly the right time. And it's not just one time you have to learn, you have to one learn a timing for each different character because the it's different timing for each character basically, which makes it really difficult to do. She didn't just do one hand off. She did two handoffs and then into the, you know, the special, we'll call that, uh, jump off stage. I thought she was going to do an S-Smash, but no, it goes to the special. Jumps off with that forward, I guess, the dunk, and I don't think the newbie was ready for that at all. This, this, yeah, that's impressive. Catch Bandit is just really good. Yeah. yeah for for sure. I don't have anything more constructive to say that I'm really impressed. Yeah. Nice. Really good. Yeah, no, absolutely really impressive stuff. I feel like... Um, Danubi was holding her own there for sure. There was this interaction um, where Danubi lost a stock, right? Mm -hmm. um, where, so I, I don't know. Basically, it was like a grab release situation where there was a there was a jab which kind of like threw uh, the opponent out of the grab. Really weird scenario, but um, yep. Yeah, so game two is going to be coming up. Let's see if Jester Arms can predict the stages again. So I think. FD is like you is IC's dream, Sheik's worst nightmare. Um, so that's definitely off the table. Um, I think platforms uh, is good for you. So I would think maybe mm -hmm. FOD would be the dream pick. I could see that potentially being banned. So then I think maybe Battlefield uh, would be the other the other common pick. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll for now, your predictions have always been right. I fully trust you. Thank you. I have complete faith in everything you say. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it looks like they've yeah, had. It... Sorry. There you go. Uh, just so it looks like they've had a connection issue, but they're going to reconnect, and it should be fine. Just have to put in codes again. And there you go. And I see the newbie in the chat. That was sick. <laughs> that finish was sick. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I really like how Danubi, Danubi has gotten so involved in uh, in the Women of Smash community, mm -hmm. and she is probably one of my favorite players uh, yeah. in that in that server. No offense to the others, but Ooh. playing her is just so so incredible. And seeing her, I mean, she she goes for everything creative she can find, and she sometimes goes for the the most cool thing and not necessarily the most flow chart efficient one. And yeah. it's just so interesting to watch and also to play against. Okay, and so... Sheik? 
Yeah, Cash Bendit obviously sees the stage and, or maybe just anyway, decides she's going to try out her Sheik. So we have a Ditto here, Danubi in the, uh, I always call it Cow Sheik uh, outfit, and <laughs> Cash Bandit in the red. So normally in this matchup, sometimes um, people agree to not uh, chain grab each other. I'm not going to call it they're gentlemen. Uh, they <laughs> have an informal agreement to uh, not chain grab. Um, I don't know if that's going to be in effect here. Looks like maybe it is. Um, but yeah, that can definitely change the dynamic of the matchup. And Cash Bandit looking really strong. She, she did say, I believe, that she doesn't have really favorite characters. Not many of them. She, mm -hmm. she loves to switch from one, uh, from one, uh, one character to the other. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she is, she, she's this really fun player who wants to change characters between each game, uh, even when she can't afford to sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> she, she will, uh, she, she will spend a lot of time on every single character, which, which serves her well because, um, I, I just checked her older results, and she did end up top 32 at Valhalla 2. Yeah. Which is such a good result. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I think uh, Ice Climbers is, is probably going to be her best character. And looking at, like, the handle she was doing in that last game, she's obviously had a lot of technical experience with that character as well. Um, but it seems like she's no slouch with the Sheik either. God, the newbie all the way up to 113 before losing her first stop. So, significant lead there. It's going to be pretty tricky for the newbie to answer that back. She can do it. Yeah, definitely all on the table. I would be. Would you say this would be an upset if Catch Bender came up ahead here? I feel like maybe. I feel it would be, but there's this whole thing where we don't really know Catch Bender's level, which kind of. Mm. It's an upset according to how we seated her. Yeah. But we didn't know her that well, so maybe it's not an upset and we just weren't aware that she was much stronger than we thought. Yeah. For but sure. according to Bracket, it would definitely be a huge upset because Danubi has been consistently top four recently, yeah. and she's she's been uh, performing really well. She's been threatening some really really good players that we thought were unapproachable. Yeah, um, for sure. The likes of Piper Koopa and uh, and Nikki, etc. So she's mm -hmm. definitely doing amazing, and she's one of those players who are so hard to see because they improve so much and mm. so frequently. Uh, I mean, so much in such a short period of time. Yeah definitely on the grind you can really see it and uh, i mean even on this game she's having a bit of a comeback she was down pretty significantly after that first stop now she here has a slight lead in fact and just all of this damage is such a nice bonus percent for her i believe that she's also uh, she's also getting a uh, coaching for her team from uh, from Queen's uh, academy from uh, epic Far. Okay, cool. Uh, I've seen a few replays go by, I haven't watched them yet, but the coaching she exists. Finds Sorry. that quick forward air there, and looks like uh, Cash Bender was holding down. Maybe not, wouldn't have mattered anyway, but it goes sent straight into the bottom right corner of the last zone. And there you go, the newbie answers it straight back. And I think if you catch Bandit, you've got to be thinking to yourself, <laughs> is it a cheek or am I going to have to go back to Ice Climbers? You know? Yeah, which one am I going to play next? Maybe Fox? Yeah. Who knows? I think um, sometimes. So Tommy in chat says that uh, Bandit is uh, is probably above Danubi in terms of seed. Should be. Okay, in front okay. of me. Which we'll know for next month. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, I mean, with with Ice Climbers, I think, yeah, I can definitely see that. I think um, the Sheet game, I think that was, that was a really competitive, really close game. Mm -hmm. Um I think uh, I've kind of been one of these people who's always played, you know, a few different characters over the years, including my DK in, in recent history. Um, You're beautiful, think... beautiful DK. Thank you, thank you. Um, it, it's one of those things where you can think, oh, you know, I enjoy playing loads of different characters. I enjoy, oh, I'm going to play DK because I want to play DK. And then you're like, oh, well, it's 1-1 one, one now or it's 2-2. Two, two, and you're thinking, do I, am I playing for fun or do I want to win really badly? <laughs> um, so we're going to kind of see whether Catch Bender has any of that attitude as well, whether there's going to be a switch back to Ice Climbers, try and get that absolute W, or whether she's going to try and stick it out as Sheik. So, or or completely, completely different. different. Yeah. Different. Wow. No way to know until yeah. it has started. Yeah. Yeah, she's really unpredictable. I like it. <laughs> So in the meantime, Alpha Cabasket has to o Chelly and Snow has to o Chobby. Mm -hmm. um, which leaves us with uh, ECS currently up 1-0 against Paper Koopa. 
Yep, so the winner of that ECS Paper Cooper will run into Alpaca Basket in the winner's semi-final, and the winner of the set we're watching right now uh, is going to come up against Snow in the other winner's semis. So it looks like we're in, and I think I saw a fox. It was very quick. Uh, I think I saw a fox. Yes, yeah. there it is. Okay, so Cash Bandit going for character free, out free. I think this might work out for her, actually, to be honest. I played against both of these uh, girls in the crew last time, and I feel like sort of faster foxes, Danubi was struggling with a little bit, um, and I think the Catch Bandit might uh, be kind of, you know, hitting that mark and hitting that sort of difficult spot for uh, Danubi to cover, so, so we shall see. Fox is her main, so she used to play ICs, but for the past year she's been playing Fox mm -hmm. since she got her Smash Box. So she got a Smash Box and so she immediately switched to Fox. So she's been mostly playing Fox for the last year, although as we can see she's also been playing a lot of other characters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So her Fox is definitely a character that we might want to take more seriously than her Sheik as well. No, I think uh, Fox is really good, uh, to be honest. Um, and it's looking pretty good against Danubi right now, but... <laughs> By no means a done deal, and somehow manages to get herself out of the corner of that up smash. Uh, crazy good hitbox there, um, but the movie evens it up. This is a matchup where it is important to like sort of build percent and get extra credit, but both these characters can actually give the other one um, if you're given the opportunity. You know, uh, Fox off stage always, you know, a delicate situation. Um, and Sheik, while she does have pretty good options with her up B, like if you read that she's going to go for a certain kind of up B, jump out and shine spike. You can absolutely get a low percent kill. So, so maybe he finds the grab or some follow up, gets the first re grab, or then guesses on that second tech in place and gets punished big time for it. Eating up smash, off stage now, and then ooh, Cash Bennett doesn't find that up smash. So maybe he gets back to center stage, but Cash Bennett sneaks away in, doesn't get a strong hit though, because a strong hit up smash absolutely is going to kill. And Catch going for those shines that I was talking about, perhaps overextending a little bit that time, um, but definitely has frightened Danubi a little bit, I think. Oh, this is an opportunity, yeah, Danubi should be able to pick this up. Oh, sneaks back in. That's definitely that NTSC distance helping out Catch Bend it there, and Catch does pick up the kill, but Danubi managed to get an extra sort of 60, 70 percent thanks to that uh, sort of mishap there, so definitely a big deal. Out throw. Oh, goes for the read there. Just need a strong hit to send catch off stage, and that should be good. There you go, Danubi doing you know. very impressive. Yeah, it's much, much closer with uh, with Fox and Sheik. It's a yeah, it's a much more beautiful game in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I really like to follow that one. There's so much happening at the same time. Yeah, I love that pivot grab. That was such a clean combo from uh, Cash Bender there. Like, using that up tilt and then getting a pivot grab off it. And then picking up this edge guard, that's going to be a kill. Doesn't even bother holding the edge. She's very confident. I'm just going to do some tech skill in the center stage. And for the first time in this game, a clean lead. Normally, it's been a stop and the stock's taken back, whereas it's a whole fresh stock percent uh, up for Cash Bender there. Danubi needs a couple of long strings here. C57, that's pretty good for a tech chase. Finds a knockdown, catching the corner. The newbie keeping catching the corner, keeping keeping the pressure on. Oh, but needs to find a strong hit, get her opponent off stage, and then convert into an edge guard. Oh, Cash Bender is just standing so menacingly in center stage. Oh, the newbie just shy on that grab. That could have been a really big follow up. And Cash just looking for this opening with all. Oh, I'll smash there, finds it, up throw, up air, not going to kill, but one more of those will do, or an up smash is probably going to be kill percent here. Maybe gets the knockdown, gets the up smash, just crash cancel, then does connect into the forward air, gets the edge guard, oh. but now 96%, this is a very scary percent for Zenobi. Yeah, it could be over very quick, but it could also... It's really not over yet either. Yeah, she definitely has opportunity as well. Catch is definitely coming towards the edge, and, and does no. manage to find the up smash, there you go. 2-1 for Catch Bandit. Oh, Super I, clean. I'm I'm sorry for getting this wrong, but I swear that Catch Bandit is like a purposeful tongue twister. It's trying to confuse me. I keep saying Catch Bandit or Catch Bandit. I just for some for some reason I just can't get it right. So we were we were joking about that last time during the crew battles because I kept calling her Crash Bandit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
if she said listen to the commentators, they also all say Crash Bandit. Yeah. So now I feel easy. a bit less guilty. Um, Catch Bandit. Okay, I'm going to have to ask her about the origin of that tag as well. Or maybe she'll let me know if she hear me talking right now. But um, yeah, Catch Bandit takes it 2 1 over the newbie in a really competitive, Congrats, uh, really varied Crash set, Bandit. I would say. Um, so as I mentioned, Catch Bandit is going to be going up against Snow. I think we might be doing that any second. I think we're going to stream both of these winning semifinals. So Snow versus Catch Bandit. And then the other side, ECS versus Alpaca Basket. Do I know which one's coming up next? I okay, believe... looks like ECS Alpaca. Yeah. Yep. Okie dokie. Let's look for a broadcast. ECS and Catch Bandit. No, wait. No, it's ECS, oh, no, ECS and Alpaca. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah, so I think ECS is broadcasting. Uh, I don't see her. Uh, give it a refresh. I see ECS right at the bottom. Yep, now yes. Yeah, I'm just waiting for game. So, yeah. Alpaca Basket, we haven't really spoken too much about her, but she's a bit of a killer mark, I would say. She is, she was our revelation last month. We were not, we were, we had seen that she's doing really well. She's doing mm -hmm. really well on, um, on both Gale and on the Combs Academy, um, let's play. I've seen mm -hmm. her around a lot, but I had no idea of her level until we had to see her last month. And then last month she came in second only to you, Jess. <laughs> did, was it? Did she come second? I don't remember. I believe. I believe she came to grand finals against you. Uh, I don't think I'm no, a player. No, 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 I... I'm completely wrong. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. I think maybe she came second against Snow. That might make sense. Yes, that would be it. Yeah. I don't think I entered next last month. So. Sorry about yeah. that. Yes, so she did come second last month against Snow, who is considered our strongest player with you. We never know of you two. But well, outside of the two, well, okay, we know you win. We know, come on. <laughs> Press one in the chat if you know who's better. But, true, um, true. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. She's definitely really good. Um, pretty analytical, technical math, I would say. Um, definitely pretty scary to play against. Although, I think, speaking of scary to play against, 